when it comes to transfer any data wirelessly. The 433 MHz RF modules are really useful tool to have. But if we need to control few LEDs or few motors, then using MCU is not a best idea because it will not be cost efficient. So in this video, we're gonna learn how to use RF module without any microcontroller board. So let's do this. So as you can see, I bought this 433 MHz RF module and they work just fine. And the best part about them is they are very very cheap and since they use ASK modulation, so they are pretty straightforward to use. And most importantly, the different model of the transmitter can communicate with different model of receiver. So to make this project, we will follow the schematics and the ROSC register in the transistor circuit is 1 mega ohm value and the ROSC register in receiver is of 68 kilo ohm value. So I am taking two breadboard one for TX and other for the RX circuit and I am connecting 5 volt power supply on the breadboard. White wire is plus 5 volt and the brown wire is the ground. Now for the transmitter circuit, I am gonna take ST12E encoder IC and place it on the breadboard. Then I am gonna take ST12D decoder IC for the receiver circuit and place it on the another breadboard. Then I take 1 mega ohm resistor and place it in between pin 15 and 16 of the encoder IC in the transmitter circuit. Then connect pin 18 of the encoder IC to the plus 5 volt and pin 9 of the encoder IC to the ground. Then connect a wire to pin 14 and place it somewhere else. We will use it later. Then take out your 433 MHz transmitter and place it on the breadboard. Then connect VCC of the transmitter to 5 volt, the ground of the transmitter to ground and the data pin of the transmitter to the pin 17 of the encoder IC. Now let's take a 68 kilo ohm resistor and place it between pin 15 and pin 16 of the decoder IC in the receiver circuit. Then connect pin 18 of the decoder IC to plus 5 volt and pin 9 of the decoder IC to the ground. Then take out your 433 MHz receiver module and place it on the breadboard. Then connect VCC of the receiver to plus 5 volt and ground of the receiver to the ground. Then connect data pin of the receiver to pin 14 of the decoder IC. Then place a LED on the breadboard and ground the LED via a 1K resistor. Then connect the positive leg of the LED to the pin 10 on the decoder IC on the receiver circuit. So let's turn on the power of both modules and then on transmitter circuit connect the pin 14 wire to ground to enable the transmission. So you can see the LED on RX on pin 10 is on but if we connect the pin 10 of the transmitter to the ground then the LED turns off. So our RF is working. Similarly connect this LED to pin 11 and then on the transmitter end connect pin 11 to the ground and LED again turns off. Similarly you can do this for pin 12 and 13. So we can connect 4 output at the receiver on pin 10, 11, 12 and 13 and 4 switches as input on pin 10, 11, 12 and 13 on the transmitter and whenever switch press to ground it will send off signal to the receiver and if it is not the case then it will send on signal to the receiver. So finally I converted this project of mine into PCB. As you can see here I have completed my project and the PCBs are shown. Now I will attach 433 MHz receiver and transmitter module on the PCB and as you can see I connected power but did not turn on the transmit enable switch so LEDs will not respond for any input at the switch but if I turn on the transmit enable by pressing this switch then you can see if I click or change any position of any switch then the corresponding LED will turn on or turn off according to the input of the pins. So as you can see the LEDs will respond to the input provided at the transmitter by changing the position of the 
switch. So the best thing about it is as you can see I changed the receiver module and it is still responding for the same transmitter and now I change the transmitter and it is still working so different receiver and different transmitter will work with each other. So guys I hope you like this video hit like button give me a share and don't forget to subscribe I will be right back with more awesome videos till then like share and learn. Be drops out.